curry is a dish that is almost synonymous with Southeast Asia, and you cannot imagine a version of Thai cuisine without it. While most of the spices originate from India, curry cannot by any means be called an authentic Indian dish because, in actuality, it's more of a British invention. In 1498, Christopher Columbus's dream was finally achieved by some other guy, Vasco da Gama. A never trade route between Portugal and India has finally been established by going around the Cape of Good Hope. And that was when the Portuguese were introduced to the Tamil, Gari. A number of dishes that incorporated a spiced meat stew that was served with rice. As Portuguese influence began to dwindle in the region, British colonial list and voice began establishing themselves in the 1800s, eventually forming the East India Trading Company. Spices became the new gold, but as the demand for these spices grew, and trade ships found themselves more often than not transporting these spices in a dried form, with British ships dipping into their own supply. Eager with something to add taste to the poor rations that offered them little more than subsistence. The result was the adoption of a form of seafaring curry, dry curry powder, that was more rot resistant in the damp condition of a ship's hull, that became both a staple of British naval cuisine and of trade across resupply stations in Southeast Asia. As curries proliferated, Occasionally, original recipes had to be swapped out for local ingredients due to geographical pressures, rendering certain ingredients far too hard to obtain. These are the factors that are by and large responsible for giving specific flavour profiles to dishes and making them irrevocably part of their culture. In Thailand, we cannot rely on milk or other dairy products to produce our curries. In India, there are no fewer than 32 native cattle breeds across the country. But in Thailand, we only have four, most of them Cebu, which are famously known to produce little, if any, milk at all. So Thailand innovated. Central Thailand made the obvious substitution and decided to use coconut milk instead. Coconut milk is widely considered to form the basis of the authentically Thai flavor profile. It is the essential building block of dishes from the coastal central region, which is famous for its easy access to coconuts. This is the innovation that gave us perhaps the most famous of Thai curries, green curry, or gankyawan, a rich creamy dish made with a paste of green chilies. While it is a clear and slightly obvious solution in the coastal regions, such as the central and southern regions, in the landlocked northern and eastern regions, this is not a reasonable solution. So, how did different regions adapt to their geography in order to adapt their own versions of curry? While Thailand has never been colonized, it does boast dishes that show clear influence from foreign powers as a result of colonial era trade. For example, in the south of Thailand, we can find a dish gang liang, a sour curry that more closely resembles a soup that shows clear traces of Indian Malay influences. Malaysia retained trade with India for a very long time, and as a result, most of the spices that originated from India can be found there, which is why a number of southern Thai dishes closely resemble their Indian counterparts. Gang Leung is a sour curry originally made from fish obtained by the nearby sea. Some fruit or vegetables like papaya or bamboo shoots, shrimp paste and limes. With a curry paste made from chilies, garlic, turmeric and chalets. As turmeric is not a local spice, we can see the influence of Indian Malay cuisine in Gang Leung. But more than that, Gang Leung clearly showcases the culinary identity of the southern region are the ingredients are produced locally. Papaya and bamboo shoots prosper in the south and with the fishing trade, 
the necessary fish and shrimp paste are never in short supply. Interestingly, Grub Son's Gangling is different from other southern food restaurants since they adapt the dish in a mix of central and southern combinations by including lotus stem in this sour curry. So what makes the dish so unique? Lan Gangling of Grub Son is like a relationship กรุงเทพกับภาคใต้นะคะมันก็จะผสมกันถ้าถ้าถ้าเป็นคนใต้จริงๆเขาก็บอกว่าจังหวัดสุราษฎร์ธานีนครศรีธรรมราชพวกนี้เค้าจะใช้พริกแห้งพริกที่บดแล้วเอามาทําแต่ว่าของเราจะใช้พริกสดคือพริกสดพริกแด
the locals have taken to fermentation as an easy and cheap way of preservation. Isan, while heavily reliant on its sticky rice production as part of its economy, is cursed with poor soil which prevents many of the more temperamental crops from growing. This may go to explain why a number of Isan dishes use more invasive crops such as bamboo shoots in so many of their dishes. แล้วก็ผักหลายๆเนาะค่ะผักอยู่น้ําหน้าน้ําไห่น้ําสวนน้ําบานหลายๆค่ะก็เลยเอามาเป็นเครื่องคางเคี่ยงเป็นเครื่